and just around the corner is Bonds Park. That's as you can see, we're now taking the bus the through to Grasmere. On your left, you'll see some here. stunning views of the lake. As you can see on the left hand side once again, some more stunning views of the lakes and the fells. And now uh, we're not too far from stopping the last minute. Here we are. There's the bus that we've just got off. And now let's have a walk around this fabulous little town of Grasmere. Of course, what we've got here is the famous Grasmere gingerbread. Always a queue here. Never fails. Every time you come from opening this shop to closing, there will always be a queue for this famous gingerbread. And it is really worth buying. It's delicious. We're in Grasmere near the very famous gingerbread house. Words with grave. We also got Dove Cottage. And just through there you can see that's the queue for the gingerbread. Always very popular. Right, now we'll come across this path which leads up to the riverside and we're very surprised. We don't know why but um, all of the flagstones have got people's names on and where they come from. Maybe you can spot your hometown here. We certainly did. Uh, we're going to travel a bit further up this path now. Uh, we're just heading, like I say, towards the riverbank. But um, it's definitely worth a look here. People, don't, people don't really know. realise they're walking on the path and all of those famous names are on there. As you can see, there we go again. Lots of names. You can pause the video if you wish. Many a hometown there. Here we are then. A couple of nice handy seats there if you want to have a bit of a rest. But we're now just having another look at these stones again. And on the main plaque, which we're coming up to now, you'll see the words of William Wordsworth, who lived in Dove Cottage here in Grasmere. Now we'll just have a little look. Across the river there, there's a little pub people enjoy and their lunch. Very picturesque villages, Grasmere, I think you must admit.
Right now we'll just have a little stroll around the village itself. I'll not talk too much. Just watch the traffic there. As I say, leisurely stroll around and I'll let you just enjoy the sights. We're just on the getting on the bus now, as you can see there, it's Stoke Cottage, the home of William Wordsworth. We're on the bus now, it's an open top bus. If you've got good weather, definitely recommend going on the top of the bus to get some great views. At the moment, we've been to Grasmere, I hope you enjoyed Grasmere itself. We're now on the bus back to Windermere, which is our place. Stunning view over Lake Windermere to the Langdale Height. We believe this is the best view from a bus stop in the world. The lake itself is England's largest. Because Mere means lake, there's no need to call it Lake Windermere, just Windermere will do. The lake has a number of small wooded islands. These are owned by the National Trust and accessible by boat. The largest island is Belle Isle, named after Isabella wife of John Kerwin, who completed the unusual circular house on the island.
Okay, we'll just go off the bus uh, from Grasmere. A very nice visit, well worth it. If you just get the local bus from Windermere, it takes you there, no problem whatsoever. As you can see, we're back at home now. So, once again, thanks for watching. And please, if you haven't done already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the video.